Hola, good morning, buenos dias, my beautiful people, and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Daniela, aka Miss Four Lizard, aka the Planning Diva. And today I'm gonna be doing a plan with me, so I'm so glad you could join me. I'm gonna be planning this week's spread in my skinny mini. Um, I have a little wildflower skinny mini planner that I use for affirmations and positivity. So if you're interested in seeing how I decorate it, just keep on watching. So funny story about this little wildflower skinny mini. When I first got this at the beginning of the year, I got it to be my gardening planner because I have a garden. I wanted to uh, translate my love of planning to my love of gardening. And so I got a little skinny mini because I figured that I wasn't gonna need a lot of room for a gardening planner because I'm not like a full on farmer. So I didn't think I would need um, a whole planner, like a whole classic size planner for my garden. I actually got this January January the 14th as you can see here and I started using this for my gardening um, my gardening stuff so as you can see here this was the first week that I got it I have some gardening notes in here um, more gardening notes here and I used it for my gardening planner for a couple of weeks as you can see here and then I just realized that I needed a little bit more room um, as you can see I used it for gardening and then in the beginning of March I switched it over to be my mood tracker because that was something also that I felt like I wanted to have in my planner lineup and I felt like it would be my mood tracker it would be a gratitude planner it would be like a place to be positive to kind of journal about because back then I also did not have a journal so I was using this as journaling as gratitude as positivity affirmations mood tracker it was serving a lot of purpose and I think it's important to have a planner like this in your lineup where it's kind of experimental and you're always playing around with it and it's it constantly uh, shifts in purpose and character and I definitely changed up how I've used this little skinny mini um, throughout the year and I'm really happy with it I'm really happy with what I've done here I've had a lot of cute spreads in here um, and it's just really really easy to keep up with because it's so it's so tiny so I highly recommend having a tiny planner in your lineup for those times when you just want to work on a smaller scale so we're gonna be planning um, and decorating the week spread for this week it's actually Tuesday morning right now and I'm a little bit late on decorating my spreads this week because I was out backpacking and <laughs> I just haven't really gotten back into the swing of things but here is my happy mega planner or my mega happy planner and I actually pull out all of the months that I'm currently in I pull out all the months from all of my planners and I stick them into this big franken planner so that way i have them all in one place so this is where i keep my skinny mini um my uh, affirmations planner i have this bookmark and then i have the month of september here it's such a tiny tiny little planner very cute i love the whole aesthetic that this planner has so i've already started decorating like the monthly and the calendar page i used to use this calendar section as a mood tracker but since then i have uh, moved it over to to my sleep log so i don't track my mood here anymore but this is the current week right here as you can see it's completely blank even though it is tuesday i'm a little bit behind but as i said this one is so tiny it's gonna take me like 20 minutes to just decorate and i wanted to film this one this week so we're just gonna get into it i'll pull out these pages just so that we don't have all this distraction in the background and then now we have my two pages so 
Let's see if I can zoom in. I have here my Happy Illustrations sticker book as well as a mega sticker book of like six different uh, Happy Planner sticker books all combined into this one mega pack. Um, I combined them all because I had like five or six sticker books that I was kind of like halfway done with and so I just wanted to put them all together into this huge mega planner so that way I could just have um, a bunch of stickers to combine and choose from. And I also have a bunch of washi tape here. So the first thing I'm going to do is put down some of this uh, bright iridescent uh, pink glitter washi. These pages are so so tiny so it's important not to overwhelm them with too much washi or too many stickers so this is actually gonna be really really fast because once you put down one or two stickers it's almost it's almost done so I think I'm gonna grab for one of these little teacups here I think that's super cute I'll put one here I also kind of like these cactus I might add these cactus to um, the spread here. Maybe another teacup up here. This little quote sticker that says, Be Brave Girl. I'll put that down there. I also have a bunch of stickers here on these pages, on these pages here that I have just included in my planner for if I want some stickers on the go. I might pull for some of those. I like this, You Are Brave Girl, or Just Be Brave Girl. Well, I kind of want to change it up because I have Be Brave Girl up there. So I'm thinking that of picking this one. Choose Joy Girl. And then maybe this last sticker that says Wild at Heart. Okay, and I think that's it because these pages are tiny and I barely have any room to write at this point. But I think it's cute. I think it's a little bit random, but I think it's cute. So we're gonna call it good. Like I said, I use this little planner as an affirmations planner. So every day I take a minute out of my day, usually in the morning, to write an affirmation down on the paper. And I sometimes make up the affirmation or I look one up. I have a book of affirmations that I'll just flip through and then I'll find one that I resonate with and then I'll copy it down. And I truly try to embrace Body that affirmation. I truly try to believe it. I try not to just write it down mindlessly, but I really think about what that affirmation would signify for me, what it means for me, why I, you know, why I'm drawn to that affirmation. And then I really try to channel it and live up to that affirmation throughout the day or in a particular situation that I'm thinking of. I'm sure everyone has heard about the power of positive thinking and it is so so important to think positively and think well about yourself and to really think empowering thoughts about yourself because that's the first step in actually feeling that way and actually channeling that energy throughout your life and you know really reaching your full potential so the affirmation practice is really helpful it might seem silly it might seem you know self-gratifying at times Times, but it's actually just such an important mental exercise and I truly truly believe in the power of affirmations so thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this little tiny plan with me I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you in my next video bye